So does anyone else get a little bit nervous when you're at the doctor's and you're doing that eye exam and test? Uh, like if you get one letter wrong, the doctor's gonna stick you with like some thick glasses. Well today on Building Your Ideas, you guys asked for it, and I got you guys. We're gonna be making a supervision gadget so you don't ever have to worry. And it's all gonna be built into these super stylish, good looking, advanced, super sight external spectacles. Huh? Wait a minute. Shit! All right, you know what? I'm gonna give it to you straight. You're gonna get stuck with them anyway. At least with these, you'll be able to stand 50 feet outside the room and still ace that test. What up, Doc? Before we modify these, let's check the comments, see what you guys, the people, are saying. Uh, Cause I think it's cool when we all decide what the next project's gonna be. So make sure to drop your ideas down in the description for future builds. You already know what to do. Uh, but it looks like there's quite a few comments about the beard. Most of them along the lines of like how great it looks, comparing its like thickness and lushness to like a Lincoln, Santa Claus. But I don't wanna make everyone jealous, so you know, I guess I'll shave it if we hit a million subscribers. And you guys have been commenting it. I know, we are so close. So if you're not subscribed, like, Please, now is the time to subscribe. I've never been more serious about this, guys. I hate, I hate this beard. One more thing, actually, before we get started. For, honest, screw the million subscribers. This is actually way more important. Listen up. Bill Swift's company. Bill Swift here. Flex Seal wants to work with your boy. Basically, they want me to make something funny, cool, awesome with their products. So this is where we all need to come together and come up with some sweet ideas of what we can make. I think Flex Glue Clear is their newest product, so maybe ideas related to that. We have the potential to make some internet gold here, so let's not waste this. Ideas down below, or actually I'm gonna post a poll specifically about that, so definitely go check that out. <clears throat> oh yeah, can't forget your inventions you guys are sending me. Here's a couple clips to uh, hopefully inspire the rest of you guys to start making some cool stuff. Run up. <laughs> Good stuff guys, up top. DM me anything cool you've made on Instagram, hit it with a follow if you want. Uh, and yeah, let's build this thing. Camera hooked up right here, guys. Do a little test record. Got the super zoom on this, 20 times zoom, so. Oh wow, look at that beard. Oh, basically like a young Santa Claus, young Kris Kringle. It's my new rap name, Young Kringle.
Wallace, and there we go. So here's how this thing works. Let's just let's start with the outside. Obviously, it's a fedora with two cameras shoved inside. Cameras look out of the front right here underneath this, uh, actually some leftover window tint because without it, obviously there's the camera holes. Uh, honestly though, I can't decide if I like this better or just straight up camera holes. I'm sure you could do this a little bit more professionally though. This, But keep in mind, this is just a proof of concept. But the interesting stuff is on the inside. So to hide all of the electronics, basically a little bit of foam and cloth concealing everything. So at first glance, you're not gonna think there's anything too wrong with it. But if we peel back, we're left with the electronics. We've got two webcams. One of them is attached to a super zoom, and the other one's night vision. There's a USB battery in here to power the cameras, which are attached to a mini Windows Pocket PC. Yada, 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 no one really cares. I've been meaning to ask this. Do you guys like more like build montage stuff or me like explaining stuff or testing? Give me a little feedback here. So when you put it on your head, it does sit a little bit high, but not like super out of the question. I might honestly end up taking off this thing just because like who who we really trying to fool here because we don't have any physical access to this computer it immediately launches a virtual desktop app that we can connect to with our phone or computer but from there we can connect the two webcams to the Vuzix glasses which are right here I did a video a little bit ago with these glasses I turned them into Edith actually got bone conducting headphones put Edith frames on them put a little bit of uh, extra software on them once again shout out to Vuzix for hooking me up with these things so links down below if you want to check them out it's a little bit hard to show exactly what I'm seeing basically it projects like a virtual screen right in front of your face I guess picture this if you hold out your hand and maybe make like an L, a box about that big away from your face. That's about the screen size. Pad on the side for gestures, uh, so you can swipe forward, swipe back. Got Alexa built in, so voice activation. There's actually a way you could look at, oh, there it is. You can see I'm on the camera app. So if I open this camera up, you can see that's the record button. There we go, my hand waving in the camera. Because there's no way to HDMI into this directly, we're gonna be using the Zoom video chat app. Basically just connecting the cameras, to the glasses that way. And then we'll actually have the perk of being able to leave the hat wherever we want and walk away and we'll have a live feed directly from the hat. A little bonus spy feature for you. And we can just switch whichever night vision or long range camera we want to use. All right, so we're gonna turn on the hat and give it a second to boot up. All right, I think it's on. Now we can open up Team Viewer. Not TikTok, what am I talking about? What am I talking about? Uh, no, yes, I am on there. If you want to follow me, actually there's a video. I uh, lost a bet. So anyways, no, team viewer. We wanna open up that, type in our code, and now we're logged into the desktop. Now we can start the Zoom conference call. I know a lot of you like software guys are probably throwing fits because this is a horribly inefficient way to do this. Probably code it in a much more streamlined way, but I'm not a coder. And this is just a prototype, so this is what we're doing. If you cannot tell by my appearance, I clearly know what I'm doing. is actually using the super zoom right now, which is why you can't really see anything except my shelf back there. But it's dark outside, so we're gonna go ahead and test the night vision. So we're just gonna switch the camera. All right, on the night vision, now we need to connect our glasses. All right, we've got everything wired up. Keep in mind, we could put all of these cameras into any interface we wanted, like a helmet or a suit. Um, this is, uh, once again, just proof of concept. So we're gonna hit the lights, and now the studio is in almost total darkness except for these lights. And we're just gonna pop that off, boom. All right, now we're in total darkness. The only thing you can really see is the uh, video screen at certain angles. But you can clearly see that I'm filming myself with the camera up top right there. So we can get a good, uh, probably 20 feet I would say. Still, we can completely see my back wall there. So again, this camera is rolling, but you cannot see anything from this camera. Maybe the one thing you could see would be like the little circle of IR lights, but that's about it. We are completely incognito right now. Pretty creepy vibes down here. It's almost like it's, I feel like any second I could turn around and I might just see some like for a ghost or, oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what? Get out, no, get, get out of here, get out of here, you. Ah, yeah, these pesky ghosts down here, let me tell you. And there we go, boom, light on, now we can see. So that's night mode for you. You can see about like 20, 30 feet of distance. So if you want to simulate this, just walk outside with the flashlight. That's, that's kind of what it'll look like. The difference is because these are IR LEDs, only the camera can pick it up. Um, so to everyone else, it looks totally dark. But to you, you got smart glasses. Uh, so you can still see. All right, let's uh, try out this super zoom. So I'm not really trying to creep on anyone with this. So let's go, uh, I've got some woods over here. So let's go see if we can pick out any details. There's a shed right there. So we're gonna focus in on that. I can make out a decent amount of detail. Just pop my hat down here and I've got a pretty good view of that 
happening way down there. And I can still see the video through the glasses. Uh, but there's one thing I want to try. I want to try and put this sign up right next to that tree. This works and we never have to worry about vision tests again. All right. So I think we got it guys. What I did though was I actually started recording the video straight to the computer. So you guys are gonna see a little bit more clear of an image. But if this works and we were actually able to see like, what is that, like probably 300 feet that way. It's insane, that's just a simple wiring issue. So that means there's some serious potential with this guys. I guess that's pretty much it. I don't really know what better way to test the vision capabilities of this. Take it away, Studio Jake. Right, one more thing we're gonna try. Thermal camera connected to the phone, right in the pocket there. Live stream to the glasses. Let's see what we can see. Because I've never really thought about this, but like that black dot right there, that's the sun. I guess it's just cool to see on a thermal camera that it's like the hottest thing around right now. Another cool thing, guys, that you probably wouldn't even think of, um, just think you can see reflections too. So check this out, guys. You can actually see through stuff, sort of. So like right now our rug is covering like a heater. But as you can see, you can literally still see the heating duct underneath. Move that away. Oh yeah. A lot of heat coming off that. There it is guys, enhanced vision hat cam. That interfaces with the Vuzix smart glasses. Uh, I guess we actually could have used these Edith glasses, just different looks. Obviously there's ways to improve this as with all prototypes. So if you have any ideas related to this, let me know down in the description. Also don't forget flex tape collab ideas and million subscribers. Lots of exciting stuff happening, but uh, that's pretty much it for this one guys. So take it easy and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.